स्मृति स्मृति नमामि शंकर शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्र भाष्य वंदे ईश्वरो मूर्तिभेद विभागिने व्यक्तदेहाय दक्षिणामूर्त नम गुकार अंधकार निरोधि सदाशिव शंकराचार्य मध्यवाम वंदे गुरु परंपरा ओम सह वीर करवाहस्वी शांति 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 ओम आप्यायंतु मंगाने ब्रह्मोपनिषद <coughs> मे अस्त निरतेय उपनिषत्सु धर्मा ते मयि सन्तु ते मयि सन्तु 
We will start from here. Tatracha Uttyamaha Asti Ova Brahmada Nama Kim Jeeva Kim Dehaha Kim Jati Kim Gyanam Kim Parva Kim Dharmika Iti Tatra Prathamo Jeeva Brahmana Iti Chet Atita Anagata Anika de Hanam Jeevasya Ekaru Patwat Ekasya Api Karma Vashat Aneka Deha Sambhavat Sarva Shari Radam Jeevasya Ekatvat Tasma Jeevahana Brahmana Iti Smajiva Brahma Tarhi Deha Brahmana Iti Chet Tatna Achandaladi Paryanta Paryanta Namanushyanam Achandaladi Pancha Bhoti Pancha Bhoti Patvena Dehasya Pancha Bhoti Patvena Dehasya Ekaru Patvat Chara Marana Dharma Adharmani Samya Darshanat Brahmana Hashweta Varna Kshatriya Harakta Varna Vaishya Pita Varna Kshatra Krishna Varna Iti niyama abhavat Itra di sharira dahane Kutra di nam Brahma hatya di dosha sambhavatcha Yadidoksa <laughs> Tatra Chati Antara Jantu Shuru Aneka Chati Sambhavaha Maharshayaha 
गौतम वशिष्ठ उर्वश्या कलशे जात्या विना अभी ज्ञान प्रतिपादिताति ब्राह्मण ब्राह्मण क्षत्रियादय परमादर्शिन ब्राह्मण यू हेव मिसिंग दिस नकार इन यू यू प्लीज पुट नकार तरह ज्ञान ब्राह्मण चेत नकार so first argument who are this brahmana so they have discussing brahmana is sukshma sharira means jeeva then they have proved brahmana is cannot be jeeva they have presented different arguments then yesterday we have seen then brahmana can we consider as a stool sharira deha tarhi then they have argument for and among this four arguments they have proved this stool sharira can not be possible as a brahman and we have seen first argument was each and every beings even not human beings if we take human beings each and everybody has same five bhautika tena stool sharira each and every human body is made up of this grossified this panchi karana aakasha vayu agni jala prithvi so everything is same then how can we say chandala is not brahmana and brahmana sharira is brahmana this cannot be possible then second argument we have seen each and every being jara marana dharma is the same one who are born they have to go on through janma yavana jara marana this all avastha are same in every human being then how can we say it is the different brahmana brahmanasya deha is different we cannot see even each and every human being are given to either dharma or dharma or adi we can say there are many pairs of opposite they have to go through so everything samya darshana this all human beings have faced the same everything so we cannot say this brahmana deha is different from other human being third argument they have done 
have you seen? All Brahmana have fair skin, Kshatriya has red skin, Vaishya has yellow skin, and Shudra has dark skin. We have not seen. So how can we say Brahmana is only Shvetavan? And last one, they have argued, if only body consider is a Brahmana, then Brahman father dies. One who consider as Deha is equal to Brahmana, and this father Brahmana dies, and son Brahmana does funeral, gives Agni Daha, then we can consider this son Brahmana will become a Brahmahatya Dosha because he has given fire to one another Brahmana, but it is not so. That's why we can prove the smart Deha na Brahmana. So two things they have proven. Sukshma Sharira na Brahmana Deha is also Deha means Thula Deha na Brahmana. Now they are discussing, can we consider a caste? Jati means caste. Actually, we say Varana Shrambarma, but in English we say caste. So can we consider caste is a only Brahman? So they have given many examples of different rushis, and all rushis are born with, with someone. <laughs> if they are born with uh, someone, we can't say these are Brahmana. They are never they are born from Brahmana, but still they are considered as a Brahman. So first line we have seen, Tarhi Jhatihi Brahmana Itiche. So third argument, these all are discussing this Sadhana Chatushtaya Sampannaha Brahma Jhatihi Tarhi means then, can we consider Itiche? Can we consider Jhatihi is equal to Brahmana, means caste is equal to Brahmana? They have argued, no. And why they say no, they have given the one argument is Tatra Jati means caste. Anan antara jantushu. There are in caste, there are many beings. In antar means in caste beings. There are many beings. Aneka jati sambhavaha maharshaya. There are many great rushis are born from different caste and bhavaha santi and there are many and they all are not born only from Brahman caste. But still we are giving the respect and we have reverence is a Brahmana only. So first they have given rushi shrindaha nrubhyaha. So the name of first rushi is called Rushishrunga. You who might have heard this name, Rushishrunga. One who has performed Putra, what is the Dashrat Raja? What the Yagna? Putra Kameshti Yagna was performed by this Rushi, Rushishrunga Rushi. And it is from Rugyaha. So this Rushi is consider is from Muruga, from Deer. So there is a one story, it is says, there are today the only story. <laughs> there is one thing, it says, there is a one Rushi by name, the Bandaka Rushi, and he used to live in dense forest. He never come out. He used to live there only. So as usual, for Devta, Indra was the they all are a fear if because of this Vibhandaka Rushi did tapas, my seat will go. Indra Pada may go. So he sent the Urvashi. Indra has sent Urvashi and Vibhandaka Rushi and Vibhandaka Rushi and Urvashi both get married. And what they have son is called Rishi Shringa. And this son is born with one horn of Bruga on his head. So in on top of his head, one horn of deer, that's why Shrunga is a horn. The meaning of Shrunga is equal to horn. 
Rishi Shunga, this is a Rishi with dear bone, Rishi Shunga. And immediately that Rishi Shunga is born, Purva she left because she has only one purpose. She would like to cut down the break down the tapas of this Vibhanda Karushi. Then Vibhanda Karushi was very angry. Then she left out. So she, this Vibhanda Karushi has decided, I will take my son more in this forest. So no, even ladies can see my son's face. I will keep in somewhere so nobody can see. And particularly a ladies, so in between this forest, when Vibhandaka and Rushi Shunga was living, in there, there is a one province, means one kingdom is there by the name Angapada. And king was called the Romapada. And it says in that kingdom, there is a no rain and too much drought. So they, Angapada has asked the astrologer, what should I do? how we can bring again rain in our kingdom, the astrologer says, you should take Rushi Shunga in our kingdom, then rain will come. But then somehow this Angapada, he had convinced Rushi Shunga to come to his kingdom, he came, rain come, again this Vibhandaka was very angry, why you have taken my son, everything. But this uh, Angapada has given his daughter to this Rushi. You please marry with this, my girl, please calm down. And later, this Rushi was married with Shanta. The Shanta is the daughter of Dashratha. And then, then Dashratha has no son. Then Vashishta says, you have to do Putra Kamashti Yagna and need a son who has not seen the face of anyone. That's why they have asked the Rushi Shunga to perform this year. So connection is Shanta is a mother of, stepmother of Rushi Shunga. And who is Shanta? The daughter of the Shrita. This is the connection. So this Urvashi is from heaven and this Vibhandaka Rushi is from earth, which jati. We can't say it is from Brahman Jati. Then second, Kaushika. Kaushika means Vishwamitra. He says Kaushika from Kushat. So it is, uh, story is, the father of Vishwamitra is Gadi Raja. And they always say our Gautram is Kaushika Rushi. And this Gadi's Raja's Putra is Vishwamitra, is also Gotra is Kaushika. That's why there is a one people used to say, that's why it's called Kaushika. And another, it says there is a one king named Kush. Kush son's name is Kushanava. Kushanava's son's name is Gadi. And Gadi's son is Vishwamitra. So we can say Kushant Kaushika. So from this, is a third generation was Kusharaja. Like we say, Raga, Raghu ho Raga, Raghu Kula Rinti Sada Chari Jai. So Rama's ancestor name was Raghu. And from Raghu, Rama has called. That's why Rama's one name is Raga. Because he is in the dynasty or dynasty of Raghu. Same way, Kusha was the dynasty in Vishwamitra in his dynasty. So one who is in Kusha dynasty is called Kausha. That's why Vishwamitra, even this also from not Brahmana, this all a Raja, King Kaur. So this is called Kaushika. In the Vishwamitra is the one who has seen Gayatri Mantra in his meditation. So mantra drashta, Vishwamitra, or Gayatri Mantra. So this is the story of Kaushika Kushat. Jambukaha Jambukat. This whole story 
is given in some Purana, and this Jambukaha Jambuka is given in Valmiki Raman. So, how much, even sometime, yesterday I was thinking, how can this possible? But today I have convinced. But this is a story comes in Ramayana. There was a Brahmin couple. This Brahmin couple went to Rama's assembly in Rama Sabha. After Rama come back from Lanka, he has killed Ramana. In Rama has started to rule over Ayodhya. At that time, one Brahmin couple went in Rama Sabha with his died son. And son was about to 11 or 12 years. He was dying. He says, this my son is died without any reason. He just sitting in his diet. So there must be some reason. That's why he took his died son in assembly and he says, if Raja has committed some adharma, then only Brahmana's son can die. Then Rama says, how can I? I didn't do anything. So how can I commit any adharma? So Rama has consulted many rushis like Vishwamitra. He asked and they have some meeting. And Rama was keep on asking where I have committed mistake, what is adharma I have made. But all Rushi says, you are the Murtimant, you are embodiment of dharma. But Narada come in assembly, Narada has come and he says, in Satya Yuga, he says, there is the only right of Brahmana who can does tapas. In Satyuga, Brahman has right to do tapas, means meditation and everything. In Treta Yuga, because Rama is in Treta Yuga, so Shastra has given permission, Brahmana, Lakshatriya, they only right to do tapas. Nobody can do tapas. If somebody are doing tapas in somebody's king's kingdom, then the king consider as the other. So he says, in your kingdom, some other than Brahman and Kshatriya are doing tapas. You have to find out. Then Rama and in some other Varana must be doing tapas. And even this is not for good intention. Sir, is Rama's job to find out. Then Rama has started. Then he has found there is a one person, his name was Jambuka. This Jambuka was doing tapas and he was hanging full time. Opposite, his legs are, legs are up and his head was down and he was doing tapas. Then Rama has asked, why are you doing tapas and who are you? The meaning of Jambuka is Shudra. So he says, I am Shudra. Then Rama has asked again, why are you performing tapas? He says, I would like to go to Swarga with this body. So if with this body I go, then I can enjoy Swarga more. Like if you remember, I did tell one story to Shankaracharya when Kapali has come. And he says, I would like to go Kailasa with this Deha. And I need somebody's head, one who is Batris, one who is an old quality. And you are that person, so I would like to cut your head and to offer Shiva. And then whole story we, we know. Then when this Shudra, Jambuka, would like to go Swarga with this physical body, Sadeha, so he needs some Bali. So he took Bali of that died boy of that Brahman Dampati. Then Rama has find everything and when he says, I am that person, so Rama has killed this Jambuka. When Rama has killed Jambuka, immediately that Brahman Putra becomes life. So this is the story. So how much truth or whether Rama has done good or bad, we have to discuss. But it is called Jambukaha, Jambuka. Shudra, Rushi, from where? Shudra Jati. So Shudra Jati, Shudra, did tapas. 
This is the story. So how subtly we have seen Dharma Dharma. This is very famous. Valmikaha, Valmikaha. He was robber. That person was robber. He made Narada Rushi and Narada has done what he has to be done. He sent that robber to the family and he asked everything and he convinced nobody is interested in my papa. Everybody is interested in Punya only. Then Narada says, you have to earn your Punya. Then he asked how? So he asked uh, uh, Narada to start Japa of Maramara. So if he keep on chanting Maramara, it becomes Rama only. So he did tapas for a long time and around him, him whole ant hill comes up. Then ant hill are called Valmika. So Valmika, Valmika. So how can we say this Valmiki Rushi is Brahmana? His jatis, we don't know from which jati rover. So this is also, we cannot accept it as a Brahmana jati. Then, Vyasa, or Ved Vyasa, from where he is born, so he says, Kaivartaka Kanyakaya. We know the story, the father of Ved Vyasa is Parashagri. And the mother of Ved Vyasa is called Matsyaganda. This is only other, another story of Matsyaganda, was Sudhanva, or king was there. And this, um, both Matsyaganda and his brother, her brother, are found inside the Matsya. And that, his, that fisherman has killed that fish, and this daughter has come out. Her name is called Matsyaganda. She was very beautiful, only the smell is coming from her body, is fish. That's why her name is called Matsyaganda. Then, after this Matsyaganda Parashar Muni, and out of Matsyaganda, Veda Vyasa is born. But Parashar Muni has blessed Matsyaganda until now. This dead smell was coming from your body. Now good smell will come. So now you are known also Satyavati. So this Satyavati, in another he has blessed, you will look like a younger only. Nobody can know you are a mother of one son. That's why she always looked like a young. Shantanu Raja has seen her and he has proposed. This is the story. And then again, Matsya Ganda means Satyavati married with Shantanu, Shantanu Raja. And they have Chitrangada and Vichitravirya. Also Nidol Mahabharata starts from here. But Ved Vyasa's name, actual name was Krishna Dvaipayana. He was born in one island, Dvipa. Because he was born in Dvipa, his name was Dvaipayana. And his skin was dark. He was not handsome. His skin was dark. That's why his name is Krishna Dvaipayana. Original name is Krishna Dvaipayana. Being son of Parashar, Parasharya Vachastaroja Mamalam, Gita Tagandot Katam. At the time in Gita Dhyana Shloka, Parasharya. Veda Vyasa, another name is Parashar. He is the son of Parashar Muni. Veda Vyasa's another name is Badarayani. Badarayani. He did tapas by eating only berry fruits. Badri fruits, bor in Gujarati, badri in Sanskritam. So he lived his life for a long time, having eaten only badara. That's why his name was called Badarayan. And he gives all Veda proper naming. That's why Vyakaroti Veda, Veda Vyasa. That's why his name is called. Veda Vyasa. And who are the siblings, step siblings of uh, 
ವೇದವ್ಯಾಸ ಭೀಷ್ಮ ಚಿತ್ರಾಂಗದ ಎಂಡ್ ವಿಚಿತ್ರ ವೇರಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸನ್ ಆಫ್ ವೇದವ್ಯಾಸ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಸುಖದೇವ್ ಜಿ ದ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಇನ್ ಈವನ್ ವಿ ಸೇ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಈಟಿಂಗ್ what we say in sanskrit i don't know even right now what we are speaking is nothing but what are come out from the ved vyasa's mouth uchchhta what we are eating, speaking this all word is uchchhta of ved vyasa there is a no new words everything is covered by ved vyasa so that's why i have told ved vyasa has written so ved vyasa has first his work is he has given proper name to vedas so sort it out vedas we can say according to prose form meter form sing so sort it out veda another ved vyasa has written brahma sutra from veda only then ved vyasa acharya has written mahabharata same ved vyasa acharya has written ashtadash puranani so what is left of in mahabharata gita has come so all the vishnu sahasrana whatever we say everything is in mahabharata so so whatever we are speaking is nothing but uchchhta of ved vyasa yes we are not we cannot speak anything because everything is covered by ved vyasa yesterday i was telling maha ved vyasa has written this 18 purana and there is a one shloka which can include all 18 puranas so this is the name madvayam ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಮದ್ವಯಂ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ Matsya Puran, Markandeya Puran is called Madhvaya. Then Madhvaya. Madhvaya means Bhagavata Puran, Bhavishya Puran. Okay. But I have to scroll. <laughs> you can write it. ಮದ್ವಯಂ ಪದ್ವಯಂ ಚೇವ ಭ್ರತ್ರಯಂ ಭತ್ರಯಂ ಶಿವ ಅನ್ನ ಪಾಪುಸ್ಕಂ ಲಿಂಗಂ ಚ ಗರುಣಾನಿ ಅಷ್ಟಾದಶಾನಿ ಚ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸೊ ಮದ್ವಯಂ ಸೊ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸಿ ಮತ್ಸ್ಯ ಪುರಾಣ ಮಾರ್ಕಂಡೇಯ ಪುರಾಣ it's called madvaya so in name of makara starts with makara there are two puranas matsya markandeya madvaya there are two purana starts with font bakara bhagavata puran bhavishya puran bratraya there are three purana starts with bra brahma puran brahmanda puran brahma vaivarta puran so but bratraya vatraya there are purana starts with vakara so is vamana purana vishnu purana varaha purana shivam last one is shivam means shiva purana then in second line annapa puskalinga so can i scroll ah oh, thank you <laughs> so this is anna anna means there is a a also and there is a na also so in akara agni purana 
न नारद पुरा pa is is a pa is there the meaning of pa is padma purana who starts with pakara purana starts with pakara padma purana anna anna pa kutska lingancha now there are kuska so if i split in kuska there are two names who and ska who is a representative of purva purana ska is called a skanda purana so purva purana skanda purana lingam means linga purana and garuda means garuda purana so total 18 so now if we count can go from bake 1 1 1 here four are there okay and i scroll up so there are four this is 5 6 7 8 8 and then 8 plus 3 11 11 plus 3 14 14 plus 2 16, 16 plus 2, 18. If we remember one shloka, we remember all 18 puranas. So you would like to impress someone, but they are but they are people. Everybody will impress. Oh, how much you have studied? You know, but they are but they are. But beautiful, but they are but they are. Chayam, but they are but they are. Shivam, Annapa, Kuskaling, Dancha. Garudani Ashtadasha. This all, everything is written by Veda Vyasa. So how much is Buddhi? The whole Vishal Vyasa Buddhi is like that. Na? What is that? Veda Vyasa Shloka. The most to them Vyasa Vishal Buddhi. This is called Vishal Buddhi. Adal Purana Mahabharata. Plus Brahma Sutra and Veda Vyasa and all the Vedas classification. Now Shastra Prasthar Gautama. This Gautam Roshi, how he is born? Thus I have seen. In says there are Sakta Roshi. Among Sakta Roshi, the name is Pashya, Adri, Vashishta. Vishwamitra, Gautama, Jamadagni, and Bharadwaj. So this fifth one, Gautama, are Shasha Prasthat Gautama. Actually, Shasha is called Revit Shasha. But I have tried, but I am not able to find out from where Shasha is Gautama is born. But story of Gautama, one yesterday I have read. It says one Rushi, his name was Andhatama. The meaning of Andhatama means totally blind. So he is the Andhatama. Once Kamadenu, Gomata, Kamadenu is a cow, and cow is called Go. So this Go, Kamadenu is cow, has seen this Andhatama Rushi, and out of compassion, because he is a Kamadenu. Whatever we desire comes fulfilled. So she desired to remove his blindness. So he has blessed him. So Anda goes and people put go him. So it becomes go the. This is only story. I have tried to find out many, but this is how this go the ma. And there are many stories of go the. If you know the. Wife of Gautama is called Ahilya. In Tulsi Das Ramayan, Ahilya converted into rock. That Ahilya. So this Gautam Rushi, from where this Shasha comes, that I cannot make out. Hmm? 
Gautam Rushi, no? No, it's another Rushi. The Sankhya Darshan, Tarka Darshan, another So if we see Gautam Rushi, Vishwamitra, and Vashishta in Sakta Rushi, where fame is among this only. So in this category, they have come. Now Vashishta, they have said Vashishta again Urvashya. So she, this Vasishtha Rushi is born out of Urvashi, but I have tried to find out, they say, there are totally 12 Vasishtha available. So it says, basically, Vasishtha considered as a Manas Putra of Brahmaji. This is the first. So up to eight, I am able to find out. Then from Ishvaku Vansh. There is a one Vashishta Devaraj, but they have added one Devaraj, but he was Vashishta In Karthavirya Sahastra Bahu, there is a very long story of Karthavirya. Yes. There she has also Vashishta, but surname is Asava. Vashishta Asava, but Vashishta was there. Then in Ayodhya, there is a one name called Bahuraja. In that time also, Vashishta was there. And his name was Vashishta Atharvanidhi Pratham, like in England, no? George came first, George came second, same way, Atharvanidhi Pratham. Then, when Saudas Raja was there, at that time Vashishta was there, he was stressed about it. During Raja Dilip, Dilip, you know, he is also Dilip, is the ancestor of Ramoni. So he is also Vashishta. At that time, Atharvani di Dvitiya. Atharvani di Prathama, this is Dvitiya, Vashishta. Again, Ayodhya time when Rama was there, again Vashishta Rushi was there. Even in Mahabharata, Vashishta Rushi was there. So still, I have eight, I am able to find out. Still, four Vashishta are missing. So from which Vashishta has mother is Urvashi, I cannot have. But 12 Vashishta. And even they say, except Brahmana, all Kshatriya, Vaishya, Shudra, they call, we are Vashishta Gotra. Even right now, they say our Gotra is Vashishta. So must be Vashishta from the Shudra, Vaishya, that's why they are keep on asking. So we can't say even Vashishta was Brahmana Jati. I think this last, this last Agatsya Kalashe. Agatsya's another name was Kumbhaja Rushi. Very famous. Kumbhaja. Kumbhe Jayadev. It is Kumbha. One who is born in the court is called Kumbhe Jayate. It is Kumbhaja. So I have found two stories, but name is the same. I have seen, I have heard one story. There are two tapasvi by the name Mitra and Varun. And they have kept whatever their strength, whatever their power in one kumbha. And out of kumbha, after some time, one boy is born. And that name was Kumbhaja or Agatsya. This is a one story. And another story is almost same. This is, I have taken some from Google only. So it says, in Rugve, this has come. There are two names, say Mitra or Varuna. Here also, they have said, is a Tapasvi. They say, is the name of Devata, not Vedasa, but Devata's name. They have, they have power. They say, Amoga Teja, whatever they have power, they have kept in Yagniya Kalasha. Again, they have kept in Kalasha in, in condensed form, Punji Bhuta. And after some time, from that Kalasha, the main part of Kalasha, Divya Tejaha, there are some brilliances come first, and then Rushi is born. So this is called Kumbhaja Rushi. And generally, they say it is available in South. Still Agastya Rushi 
Actually, there is a one story, but right now I don't know. He went in uh, somewhere in the south, and one Parvata was very arrogant. And having seen Agastya, he was, he becomes more and more tall, that Parvata. And Devta says, if this Parvata becomes tall, then what will happen to Prutsi? You do something. Then Agastya says, okay, I will do. And he went and left in the south. Then having seen this Agastya Rushi is coming, that Parvata is then bent down. It did pranama. Then he says, now keep as it is. Then he says, when I come back from this south, at that time only to, again, you become a straight. Then he never come from south. He stayed in south. Otherwise, again, that Parvata. So this is the power of Agastya. Agastya Kalashe. So from which Jati? This is born from Kalashe. How can we say this Jati? And it is not given, but still I have written, there is a one famous name, it's called Satya Kaam Javal, is given in Chandogya Upanishad. So there is a very cute boy, tender age, eight to seven to eight years old. That boy's mother was Jabala. So she, that boy has no father. So this boy has asked mother, I would like to take all knowledge of Veda. Should I go? Then mother says, yeah, you can go. But mother says, whenever you reach Gurukulam, that Rushi will ask, what is your father's name? Because every time we have to give our Gotra's name and father's name. So mother says, if he will ask, Rushi will ask, what will you reply? So Satya Kama says, my name is Satya Kama. I always speak truth. I won't say, okay, I, my father's name is something else. But I will say, I don't have father. My mother is Jabalaha. That's why my name is Jabala. So he went saying Gautam Rushi. Shasha Prashtha Gautam Rushi. He went to Gautam Rushi and asked for knowledge from Veda. Then he asked the Gautra. So he says, I am the son of Jabala Mata. I don't know the father's name. And Gautam Rushi says, you have told the truth. I am accepting you as a, my disciple. So at that time, nobody asked and nobody's interested from which caste you have come. They are interested only, are you Sadhana Chatushtaya Sampanna or not? So he says, these all Rushis are come from different, they have their own st story. And he says, last one, Iti Shrutatva, this all being heard, Ete Sham Jatya Vina Api Gnana Pratipaditaha Rushayaha Bahavahasanti. Having heard like this, Etesha, this all Maharshi's Rushis, without any caste, Jatya Vinapi, without any caste, Nana Pratipadita, they have gathered all types of knowledge and they are Rushira. And there are many, so we can prove the smart Najati Brahmana. So we can't say Brahmana is one particular caste. There is a no jiva is brahmana, no sthula deha is brahmana. Now there is a no caste like brahmana. Then fourth one is, can we tell gnana? That we will see on Monday. Tatarhi gnana brahmana, but we will see on Monday. You have everything with you. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnar Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishyate Om Shmanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Guru Pyo Namaha Harihi Om